Hi guys, Zing this year. Uh, so today I got. Ah, oh, stop that. Okay. So I've continued with that game that I was doing, like, I think it was two months ago. I got a little bit distracted with something else. Ooh, let's see if we can go up here. This will be fun. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. So I've added a few things, like the blood that you can see right. Okay, I'm falling now, so. You can now respawn at the spawn point, so. I've made a little. I'll go down and stop that. Okay. So, it's over excessive, but. <laughs> oh, you know. It's not been finished yet, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you put F to kill yourself, and an excessive amount of blood just spews from your body, and you can click to respawn or whatever. And, um. I made this little level, which I'm gonna do now, but. For some reason, yeah, okay. So, there's multiple ways to do the beginning, but I'm just gonna do it the way that I feel comfortable with, so. Here we go. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, <coughs> you can hear that I've got some jump sounds in too, which is pretty awesome. There's, I think, three jump sounds, and it just randomizes between them. No, let me stop that. Okay. Ah, you can see the end is not finished. Properly, I probably used an excessive amount of. Oh, I just missed that one. Bloom and HDMI, but <sighs> what is new tech games these days without Bloom? Yeah, an excessive amount of Bloom, like Battlefield, when you can't actually play the game while you're looking at the fucking sun, which is really annoying. But yeah, I want to get to the end. I really do want to get to the end of this video. Okay, let's try another approach over here. Circle jump out of here. Okay. Circle jump. Son. There you go. That simple. <gasps> yes. Anyways, so that's the um, that's a level. Let me just show you around a little bit over here. The beginning I haven't finished yet. I've just kind of just focused on the middle section, which looks really awesome. Um, so you have this beginning section over here, which you have to kind of just <coughs> short strafe jump onto, and then you have the sharp left turn, which you have to circle jump or quarter jump onto, and then you can either jump onto there, over here, or you can jump onto the right hand side and then circle jump onto the right, or you can jump on the left hand side, circle jump to the right, and you either land on this piece over here or that piece over there, but if you land on this piece, you come short on this, and you're probably not going to make it to the end. So that's probably a strategy to just slow down in the beginning, not circle jump as hard as you can. Um, but if you land on this, you get a perfect mid landing over here, and you can just jump straight onto here, and then to there, and to there, and you make it to the end. Um, these blocks over here, I don't know, oh yeah, I had a question over here. So when I duplicate an object, <coughs> for some reason it goes darker than the rest of the objects, I can't fucking fix it. And this is one of the objects over here, let me just press G over here. Oh, I'm using Pro Builder for those, Pro Builder 2.2, for those who wanted to know how I got all these objects, like, kind of, not normal to Unity. Yeah, I'm using Pro Builder 2, it's a really awesome piece of uh, software that's added onto Unity. Um, so it's meant to be like a church theme, well not church, castle, medieval kind of theme over here. It's meant to be, it's meant to be a broken pillar but I'm just fleshing it out at the moment and getting a feel for the map and the straight jumps, etc. Um, I've got some Zed fighting over there. Should fix that already. Yeah, this is it. Like, subscribe. Do what you want. Subscribe for more, obviously. Um, yeah.